Welcome to this chair yoga class. Let's get started sitting in our chairs. Coming to a seated mountain pose. Sitting up nice and tall, shoulders over hips, knees coming out from your hips, heels right under your knees and feet parallel. Inhale, roll the shoulders up, press them back and down. If you need to, you can be sitting, resting against the back of your chair or holding yourself up with your core strength. Hands can be on your knees face down or face up. Close your eyes or look downcast. What makes asana practice different from other forms of exercise is that we slow the movement down and pay attention, bringing awareness to our actions. This quality of awareness brings us deeper self-knowledge and connects us to that part of ourselves, which is eternal. Today's class, we will focus on moving slowly with awareness to deepen the quality of our practice. You're welcome to share that intention with me or choose one of your own. Bring your awareness to your breath. We're going to aim for a five count in and five counts out. If that's too much for you, pick a number that works. Breathing in one, two, three, four, five, breathing out, two, three, four, five. So this five second count, five to six seconds, aligns our energy with the vibration of the earth and synchronizes the functioning of our organs. Whatever count you choose, breathing slowly and mindfully in and out from even count. When you're ready, open your eyes and come back into the room. If you want to scoot forward on your chair, you can, so that you're supporting yourself with your own body's musculature. Inhale tall, 
Roll the shoulders forward, up, back, and down. We'll begin warming up by rotating the head. Moving slowly with awareness. I'll give you an analogy. It's more effective to move slowly in our asana practice than to move quickly. Think about how effective you are when you are moving slowly and deliberately through your activities, as opposed to when you're rushing. Back to center, Let's bring the chin down. We'll make a little U shape on our chest. You may feel a stretch in the back of your neck. Come back to center and lift the head. Inhale tall and bring your ear to one shoulder. Drop both shoulders away from your ears. Inhale tall and bring your ear to your other shoulder. And up, bring your ear to your shoulder and press your hand away, pressing into the heel of your hand. If this is too much, just keep your hand on your leg. And point the fingers down, stretching into the back of your wrist. Back to center. Deep breath in, lower your ear to your shoulder. Press your hand away, pressing into the wall. Imaginary wall. And point the fingers down, pressing into the back of your wrist. Come back up. So as we add complexity to any series of poses, you can always do an easier variation. Bring the ear to the shoulder. Let's bring the opposite hand over to touch the top ear keeping the shoulders down and relaxed, let's push away with the heel of the hand. And push away with the back of the hand. Come back to center. Deep breath, stretch up tall, ear to shoulder. Reach up and over, touch your top ear. Press away with the opposite hand. Point the fingers down, keep pressing. Inhale back to center. Let's roll the shoulders. and roll the other way.
Inhale the arms out, squeeze the shoulder blades, broaden your chest, support with your core, and give yourself a big hug. Tuck your chin, full breath into your back body and out. Inhale, open. Gather that love in, give yourself a hug. Inhale, tall, exhale, lower your chin. Inhale, open. Squeeze the shoulder blades, broaden the chest. Bring that love in, tuck the chin, broad back. Inhale out, full breath here, and give yourself a hug. The Buddha said, you above all people deserve your own love. And open, last one or last set. And open, and I think this is the last one. And down. Let's pick up one knee and we'll circle the ankle. Again, if that doesn't work, you can put the foot on the floor and circle the ankle. If you're lifting the knee, you get a little core work in there. Circle back the other way. Point and flex. Take the time to really stretch the top of your foot. When we sit a lot, we contract the muscles of the front of the ankle. You want to really give those muscles a nice stretch. It's so good. And then inhale tall, pick up the other foot if you can, or just with your toe on the floor, pointing and flexing. Slow it down. Breathe into the stretch. And circle the ankle. and circle the other way. And then let's pick up one leg and we'll open and close the hip. And let's open and close the knee. And slow it down. I'm from New York. I have to remind myself to go slower. Breathing into it.
Let's do a little circle. And let's circle the other way. And down, maybe give that leg a little rub. And we'll pick up the other leg, open it out. And you can do this with your foot on the floor if picking up your leg is not your thing. And back down. Oops, wait, I'm sorry. Open it and close the knee. And we'll circle. And circle the other way. And back to center and come to stillness. Let's do some half salutes. Let's bring the hands to the heart. Nice and slow. Then inhale up. You can stop at goddess arms or come all the way up overhead. Drawing the belly in, leading with the chest. Exhale over. And maybe you don't go as far as me, that's fine. Inhale, slide your hands up your legs, elbows hug the body. Exhale, surrender over, let the head go. Inhale, deep breath, reaching out. Again, stopping at goddess arms or coming all the way up overhead. And hands to heart. Take a breath here, exhale. Nice, slow, full breath coming to whatever is right for your arms and shoulders. Exhaling, coming over as far as works for you, but make sure you let the head go whatever length you go to. Inhale, elbows back, shoulder blades back, heart lifts. Exhale, surrender over, round the back. Inhale, lift the chest, press into the heels, stretch up, and hands to heart. Let's do two more. If you're tired and need to skip a set, you can just close your eyes and let one go. Surrender over, relax the head, 
Lengthen the spine, press the shoulders back and the chest forward. Round over. Inhale up. Hands to heart. Last one, exhale. Inhale long, exhale dive, round over, let the head go. Inhale, elbows hug, chest broad, lift up. Exhale, round over, stretch your back. Inhale, deep breath, arms come to whatever height works for you. This time we'll look up, bring the hands to the heart. And down. Come into an easy side twist, side twist, twist. <laughs> bring one hand across your leg, the other hand to the side or back of the chair. Inhale, tall and slowly rotate. Untwist, nice and slow and mindfully. Bring your hand across the other way, using your other hand on the back or seat of the chair to help you lift your spine and twist around. And back to center. Again, we're going to add some complications. You can stay with that variation or inhale your knee up. Hug it with the opposite hand, and then bring your hand out in front of you, follow the land behind you, and then using your chair, this. Bring that arm back up, follow it around, release your knee to the floor. Take a deep breath, support with your core. Either the hand comes across or lift the knee first. Hugging with the opposite hand, bring this arm out. Follow it around to the back. And come on to the front and back. We'll do a second set of either variation, lifting the leg. Maybe instead of hugging with your hand, you can hug a little deeper, pulling that knee towards the midline, reaching the arm out. And come back to center. Stretch up tall, either arm across or lift the knee first. Hugging that knee a little deeper, reaching your arm out, stretching around, and using the chair to help you twist. Inhale back to center. And then. Let's interlace the hands and bring them to our chest, elbows up, press the heel of your hand away. And if it works for your elbows, bring your arms up overhead, shoulders down. And let's stretch over to one side. If this doesn't work, you can just keep your arms in front of you. Maybe bend an elbow back, play with it, see what works for you. Inhale tall and stretch over the other way. One more time, stretching to one side. Inhale tall and stretch the other way. Inhale back to center 
and bring the arms back down, release. We're going to come to standing. If you need to stay in the chair, you can easily adjust what we're going to do next. So if you want to come to standing, you can interlace your hands the weird way. Stretch up tall, reach forward, and come on up. We'll come to behind your chair. I'll stand at the side of mine so you can see what we're doing. So either sitting or standing, we're going to go for a little walk, just lifting one heel and then changing sides. Let's go nice and slow, coming up high on both toes, pressing one heel back, one heel forward. Inhale tall, exhale, press the heel back. So you could be doing this in your chair or standing up. Taking your time to really feel the stretch, press the heel into the floor, bend one knee. And then shake it out if you need to. We're going to come into chair pose. So if you're sitting in your chair, you'll just reach your arms forward like that. If you're standing, you can step back a little bit from the chair. Imagine there's a chair behind you, keeping the chest lifted. If you can, bring your arms out in front of you. And inhale up. Next level, again, you can stay with what we've done before. I'm going to face you this time, but we're going to come into our chair pose and inhale our arms out and give ourselves a hug. So not all the way around, just hand on your shoulders. Okay, so there's your chair pose. Inhale up. If you'd like to come onto your toes, you can come onto your toes. You could be holding onto the chair or adding arms. Come on back down. Give yourself a hug the other way. Sit back in your chair pose. I'm going to add to this if you like. Inhale. Reach out. Come onto your toes if you like. Bring your arms back in, coming into eagle arms if you can. Press your hips back into chair. So right now I have my right arm underneath. So just remember which arm was underneath. Inhale, reach out. If you like, come up onto your toes. And come on back down, bringing the opposite arm underneath. And again, you can hug yourself or come into eagle arms. So if you're sitting in a chair, you can lift your heels, do the arm work. Inhale out. Come up onto your toes if you like. Come on back down into your chair, lift one heel. Reaching your arms out, you can bring your arms in and give yourself a hug or come into eagle arms. The knee that's up, that's the elbow that's down. Sink back into your chair with your heel off the floor. Or again, you might just be holding onto the chair and doing it that way. Honoring what your body wants to do today. Bring the heel back down, inhale. Straighten your legs and if you like, come up onto your toes. Good work, everybody. Come on back down. Press back into your chair. Bring the other arm underneath. Oops. <laughs> Lift the same heel. Elbow that's down. That's the heel that comes up. Again, maybe you're holding onto your chair and not using your arms at all. That's fine. Or maybe you're sitting in your chair. Last one. Let's release. Inhale, straighten the legs. Reach out. And if you like, come up onto your toes.
And uh, so we're doing a lot of balance work today. I come into a spinal twist. If you need to hold on to the chair for the spinal twist, you're facing the back of your chair, and then you can just bring one arm around behind you. Or you can reach both arms out, hips facing the chair. Back to center. Holding on to the back of the chair, reach one arm out behind you, spinal twist, or reach both arms out. Inhale back to center, holding onto the chair. Now you can stay with this variation, or the next variation is to pick one leg up and turn towards the leg that's up. Spine and twist. And back to center and down. Do the first variation or lift your opposite leg. Reach out toward, twisting towards the leg that's up. Come on back to center. Or maybe you do it with just one heel up. Okay, last variation. Here we go. Climbing to Dasana, maybe lifting your heel or lifting your leg, turning towards the leg that's up in the air, looking back over your shoulder, and maybe taking your front hand off the chair or maybe just a finger on the chair. And back to center and down. Good work. Last one. Maybe just picking up your heel or lifting your knee, turning towards the leg that's up, and maybe lifting your hand or maybe just a finger. Inhale back to center Ooh, and shake out your legs. Maybe a little hip action here. Maybe a little circling of the hips. And you can do this holding onto the chair or if you're seated, you can circle your upper body. And we'll circle the other. back to stillness. We've worked hard, so we'll end with a forward fold. You could sit in your chair and do a forward fold, or you could use the seat or the arm of the chair and do a forward fold over your chair, or even coming over the back of the chair if you have a lower back than I do. Come back to your five count breath or your slow breath, whatever count you're doing. Allow your body to relax.
And we'll stay here another 15 seconds. Particularly if you were standing, take all the time you need. You can hold on to the chair or bring your hands to your thighs. Curl up one vertebra at a time. You don't want to get dizzy. Come into Tadasana. Good job. Let's come back into our chair. I'd like you to sit towards the front of your chair. Take a few breaths here. And then keeping your spine straight, you're going to bring your shoulders to the back of your chair. Pick up a leg. Give that leg a hug. Again, if this doesn't work for you, you can just stay like this. We're doing some yoga bicycles. We're not collapsing into the chair. Keep yourself lifted, a little core work. Lifting one leg, lifting the other. If you want a little more challenge, you can just bicycle. Feel the core supporting you. So you're either sitting up straight, lifting one leg and then the other, or leaning back, lifting one leg slowly and then the other, or yoga bicycles. Still nice and slow. Keeping the breath long. Two more. And come back down. Straighten your legs out with the heels pointing forward and the toes up, the heels are on the floor. And give those uh, thighs a little, little loving. And then we'll do a half forward fold, bringing one foot in. So you have toes up, heel on the floor, the other foot's on the floor. Inhale tall, exhale, slide down that leg. And maybe you're not as far down as me, that's perfectly okay. Bringing your, if you're, whatever the knee is bent, if your left knee is bent, bringing your left hand to the hip crease and spinning your body towards the ceiling. You can stay here or reach your arm to the sky or rotate from the shoulder and bring your arm over your ear. Spin your rib cage towards the ceiling. Draw your belly in for support. Bring your hand back to your hip crease. Turn your body forward over your leg. And inhale up. Bring that leg in and take a moment to absorb it. Step your opposite leg out, heel on the floor, toes pointed towards you. Other foot is flat on the floor, knee over heel. Inhale tall, exhale, slide down the leg. And maybe this is what your pose looks like. That's perfectly okay. Let your head go. Breathe into the back of your body. You want to feel a stretch in your lower back, not just in your upper back.
bring your so bent knee, bring that hand to your hip crease, pull that hip crease back and spin your body. Your hand is on your leg. And again, maybe it's up here. That's fine. You can stay here, reach to the sky or rotate from the shoulder and bring your arm overhead, palm down. Take a breath and spin your rib cage towards the sky. Draw the belly in for support. Nice slow breaths. And bring your hand back to your hip crease, turn your body towards your legs. Inhale up. And you can scoot back in your chair for Shavasana using the back of the chair to support you. Palms up, eyes closed. Go inside. Slowly begin to bring some movement back into your fingers and toes. Bring your hands together and rub them briskly, building up healing energy. And cup the hands over the eyes, bringing that healing energy into your eyes and brain.
Release the hands. Wink the eyes to come back into the room.